Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to discuss about the SQL constraints. So till now we have seen like how to create a database and how to create a basic table. So how to create a basic table this already we have seen. Now we are going to understand about the SQL constraints. With the help of the SQL constraints we will create a proper table which will ensure the accuracy and the reliability of the data. Let's take one example. With that example let's try to understand about the SQL constraints. Suppose I have to create one table for the sign up page. So what are the column I will define? Suppose I am defining one column ID. I am defining one column name. I am defining one column email ID. I am defining one column like phone number. I am defining one column age. I am defining one column password. So these are the column actually I have defined for the sign up page. Suppose this is the Facebook sign up page. For that I have created one table. So this, this is the one table which I have created. Now in this table how actually you will make sure that in this column we should have a proper value. How you will make sure. So with the help of the SQL constraints it's possible. Let's take one example. Suppose I am a user. I have come, I am coming to the sign up page. I have entered the first name, last name and the password but I haven't entered any email. But this email is mandatory field. So suppose I am only entering the first name, last name, password and all but I am not entering the email then in that case I should get one error email cannot be a blank and this kind of the error we see in a real time also. Suppose you are going to any Facebook and if you are doing a sign up and you are not entering the email or phone number then we get one error the email cannot be blank. So how this all the things are possible with the help of the SQL constraints only. So SQL constraints with the help of that we actually make sure that in our column it should have a proper value. Now let's take another example. Suppose I am a user. I am coming to this sign up page. I have entered my phone number as a 123. And uh, dash, 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 this are the phone number I have entered. Now suppose any other user. He is also coming and he is also entering the same phone number. But ideally the phone number should be unique. It shouldn't be a duplicate value, right? So how you will make sure like this phone number, whatever the column you have defined in this column, there shouldn't be any duplicate value. So with the help of the SQL constraints, it's possible. We can define like the phone number should be a unique. It shouldn't contain the same values. Now, suppose you have to give one condition in this age column. Means suppose this is sign up page is only for the user whose age is greater than 18. So how you will make sure that? So suppose I am a user, I am entering the age as a 17. In this case, I should get error and it shouldn't do a sign up. So how you will make sure the age is greater than 18? With the help of the check constraint, uh, we define that kind of the condition. So we have a sets of the constraints which is available, which will make sure like in your table, whatever the column you have defined, in that column you have a proper value. So let's discuss one by one what are the uh, constraints we have. First is the not null constraints. So with the help of not null constraint, it will ensure that column cannot have a null value. Suppose this email is mandatory field and if anyone is uh, not entering anything in that case we should get error. Means we should have a proper email. It shouldn't be a null. So with the help of not null constraint, we define like in that column the proper value should be there. It shouldn't be a null. The second is the unique. By the name itself we can understand like if we are defining any unique constraint in the column that will make sure like in that particular column we have a proper unique values. Means it shouldn't contain any duplicate value. So with the help of unique we will make sure like in that column we will have a only unique values not a duplicate values. The third is the primary key constraints. The primary key constraints is, is a combination of a not null and the unique means that particular column shouldn't be a null and it's, it should be a unique. So that is a combination of a not null and a unique. We have a fourth constraint that is a foreign key. Uh, foreign key it is establish a relation between the two table by ensuring that a value in one table matches a value in another table. It will maintain the referential integrity. This we will discuss some more in the depth. What is the primary key and foreign key because it's important to understand this. But as of now for the referential integrity, uh, we define the foreign key constraints. We have another constraint that is the check constraints. So with the help of the check constraint, we define certain conditions. Like suppose this age should be a greater than 18, right? How you will make sure that? So with the help of the check constraint, we define a certain condition and uh, that uh, and based on that condition only the value it should contain. Now we have another constraint that is the default constraint. 
suppose uh, suppose this sign up is you have launched only for the india location you have only launched for the india location now in this case it's not mandatory like everyone has to enter this country as a india right so in this case what we will use we will use one default constraints this default constraint will make sure like if anyone is not entering any value then by default this value will be a india suppose we i am defining default value as a india for the country so suppose if anyone any user who is not entering any country then by default the it should it should have a india so with the help of the default constraint we can default define any default value so if anyone is not entering any value then by default that value it will insert so these are the different constraints which is available which will make sure the which will ensure the accuracy and the reliability of the data in next video we will try to do a practical and we will understand one by one